Hi kids, Heidi here. Welcome or welcome back to a haul video. I kind of was um, not really shopping much because I my inventory got ahead of me and I had probably almost 100 pieces to list. And that's just, that makes me very uncomfortable. Probably 40 or more, 40 or 50 is the maximum I ever like to have in back stock because that's about what I list in a week. But I finally got things a little under control. And for National Thrift Day, I got a 30% off coupon at Goodwill. With my senior discount, that works out to 37% off. So oh, I had to go shopping. And uh, the day before that, I got, got a little stir crazy in the house. So I went to Salvation Army on Senior Day and got 25% off. So I've got a bunch of stuff to show you and some really interesting things. and. A few things to talk about. But before I start on the clothes, I did want to share a few hard goods that I am listing this weekend. I don't um, I don't pick up a lot of hard goods and I very rarely show them to you because they tend to need a little bit of cleaning or research or something. So they sit in a different spot than the clothes. So, But I wanted to show you some things that I'm working on right now, just in case it's interesting to you. I found this poster. It was framed in a very cheap frame. It's this little black plastic thing just slide off. And then there's fiberboard at the back and um, like not even plexiglass, but a flexible plastic cover. And it looks like I lost, I don't know, one end of it is, I just didn't notice it was missing. Hello, but maybe it's in my truck. Anyway, I don't plan to use the frame. This is from, the Portland Saturday Market, 1993 season, their 20th year. So the Portland Saturday Market was started in 1974 in Portland, and it's still going today. And I just thought it was a colorful, pretty poster. Um, maybe someone from Portland thinks this is cool, and it's an anniversary, so I thought I'd try to sell it. If it doesn't sell, I may contact the organizers of the market and ask them about it. But my plan is to take it off the frame. I'm hoping it's not glued down. If it is, I might cut it off the backing so that I want to ship it rolled. Okay? I paid um, $3.77 for it, and I have no idea what the value is. I thought I would just put it up at 30 or so and see if any anyone's interested. So... Maybe I'll keep it. I love colorful artwork. So that was interesting. I, I always look at the art and I've had very few scores over the years. Um, I found one little eight by 10 painting that was actually sold for $90. Um, one of my daughters thrifted a painting that's probably worth $350, but she was thrifting to, to decorate my other daughter's living room. So that is still around. It's beautiful. But anyway, artwork, it's always worth a look, even though I know nothing about it. So these coffee cups, I'm just going to show you. I'm going to put them down because they rattle and make noise. These are from Pier 1 Imports, which of course is no longer in business. But this was a set of six stackable mugs that came in a chrome rack. And um, you'll find those for sale and on eBay and probably Poshmark. And they came in prints and lots of different patterns and two different color combinations that I could find. But I think this is one of the oldest original ones. And there was a yellow, yellow, and a green that I don't have. So here's my thought. I don't have the rack and I don't have the yellow and the green. But what I do have are replacements for people who have broken a cup in their cute little set that they've had since the 80s. So I'm going to sell these individually for seven dollars plus shipping. I won't. I won't accept offers. I paid a dollar each for them. By the way, you might say a dollar into seven. That's not much, Heidi. The picture taking was boom, 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 done. Um, shipping will be easy. I have the perfect box. I just wrap them in bubble wrap. But so seven dollars, dollar into seven might not sound like much, but four dollars into twenty-eight. That's reasonable, right? So I'm going to sell these individually. I created a listing and then just copied it. I could have done a variation listing, 
or a multi-quantity listing where people choose the color. But the cover shot is tricky because you have to indicate to them that they don't get all four. They just get to choose one. So I decided to just list them individually. If somebody's looking for a Pure One orange stackable mug, they'll find mine. Okay, so um, the next little hard good that I found recently are these dishes. And these are from Pottery Barn Kids. So I have two plates and two bowls. You saw the chicken design. And the other pattern is bunny. And so I'm going to sell these together, all four pieces, for toddler or child dishes. And I paid $2 for all four pieces. And I'm going to ask $20. And these are melamine, so they'll, you know, they'll fit very easily in a small, lightweight box. And so I'm asking $20 for those for my $2. The last item is... Um, Again, I try to don't, not do breakables, but those mugs will be easy. This will be a little harder. So this is a Fiesta Ware cream and sugar set with a little tray. You'll find, uh, this is Scarlet, the color. You'll find quite a few of these for sale, probably 15 or so with the tray. And maybe five or so without the tray or without a lid. And I've got all four pieces. And I paid, I think, $5. And I'm going to ask 25 and um, I think I'll stick to that price. Eventually, it'll sell. Someone will like my feedback rating, or they'll like my photos and choose mine over someone else's. So here's the Fiesta. Let me get the angle right. Oh, boy. Okay. See, it's all lowercase Fiesta. So that is a um, helps to age it. It's not the modern reissue. This is, vin this is vintage. It's not super, super old. But it is one of the older styles. Probably, oh, I would say probably 80s or earlier. But um, it's, they do a different font now for the modern stuff. And you go, well, I've got to do a little more goo on this lid. <laughs> Boy, tape is nasty, isn't it? So I'll do that a little more cleaning up of that. And so I'm going to ask 25 for this plus shipping. And um, I just, it's been sitting on my little side table for quite a while just as looking cute and pretty because I love the color. So that's my hair goods that I wanted to share with you. Um, I'd love to hear what your um, favorite kind of hard goods things are. I always, I always take a walk through if I have time just to look for the easy things. Okay, let's look at what I got at Salvation Army on Senior Day. I got 10 items that day for $44, so average cost of goods $4.40. But um, I'll tell you, if I see if you see me looking at notes, I wanted to make sure I had some comps for you or to tell you a little bit about the, the label if you needed more information. So this one, if you live anywhere near the water, um, you're going to want to remember this label. I have never seen it before, but I hope I see it again. Maki Gold. So it's got gold embroidery on that label. And then... Um, it has a kind of a papery tag, almost looking vintage, but nylon and spandex. So as I was going, it's a dress, a cap sleeve, um, scoop, or just a round neck dress. And this kind of pink and black and blue, looks almost like tape um, design on it. It's stretchy and it's just a very simple dress, no pockets. Nothing. So the fabric is what attracted me as I was flipping through the dresses because it felt like, um, you know, one of the athletic brands could have been Poole or Athleta or Patagonia, right? And there are a couple of brands, Coolabar and um, Ivy Cool that I'm finding more and more that are like sunscreen brands, outdoor clothing. But um, that tag and the fabric feel alone was enough to make me look it up. And I went to their website, and their motto is Born on the Beach. So clothing for living near the water or on the water. Dresses, they have uh, like four or five different models of dresses. They retail between $175 and $225. And I thought, okay, honey, don't get excited. Retail means nothing. This one is called the Annie Dress. I could find, tell that by the cap sleeve. So they name their dresses. They also name their patterns. But I couldn't find this one with Google Lens or any other search, so um, I don't know. It must not be current. 
Um, this fabric is called Chatham cloth. And I found, um, when I Googled or on eBay, I checked for Mahi Gold Chatham Cloth Annie Dress. There are three listed and two sold. $45 is the sold comps. So I'm going to list this for $49 because it's a large. And the others that were listed were smalls. And so I'm very excited about this. I think I'll get $49 for it. And I hope it sells quickly. Have you ever found Mahi Gold? So I'm excited about that. Somewhere I was going to make a pile. Right there. And next, I found two. So Goodwill is doing strange things with prices, and so is Salvation Army. So this one was $6.99, 25% off. That makes it $5.24. So this is on J. Jill Wherever Collection, and it's a 2X. Is that right? Yeah, 2X. So I like, um, I always look at J. Jill, and the Wherever Collection is a little more intriguing because there are people who look for that. It's just comfortable, wrinkle-free. You can wear it wherever. Get it? So um, this is a knit maxi dress in a green floral. And it's just a stretch jersey knit. And it has slits at the bottom. And it's a 2X. So for $5, I said, sure. Um, I think that... I think that I decided to list both of these. Yeah, I should get, um, I'm going to go high, like 42, and I'll, I'll go as low as 30 to sell it, but I think it'll go for that. And then right next to it, I found another 2X JGL wherever maxi dress in this pattern. I'll show you the wherever collection label again. Oh, no, this one's not wherever collection. But it is a J. Jill 2X. And this is a sleeveless maxi dress, but it has pockets and uh, a back slit, I think. Yeah. And so for $5, I think I'm going to get at least 30 for each of these and maybe a little more. So that was fun. But I got to list them quickly because summer's waning here at least. I know that in the South, your summer probably lasts until what? November and then you have a little bit of fall and then it's spring and I can't imagine not having all those horrible seasons in the middle like we do so here's an item from cut loose this is a little cardigan looks very cut loosey except it has buttons that's kind of radical for them what's this one made of it's a cotton and linen made in the USA. So, paid $3.99. I sold one very similar, except it was open front last week for $23. And in the listing there, I used minimalist and capsule wardrobe. Um, I'm doing that more now than log and look. And so I think they're more trendy terms. So this could either be worn as a top or a cardigan because it buttons so closely together. And so I'm going to list that for 25 and you should get it. Here's some Umji, which I hardly ever buy, but when it's amazing and cheap, what did this one cost me? Uh, $2.51. And it's an extra large. And it's this embroidered tunic top or swim cover up. It's a little bit sheer. So a little hot pink camisole under there might be pretty. Or you could wear it with your swimming suit. It has lace trim. So what am I going to get for that? I'm going to list it for $25 and see what happens. I paid $2.99. Here is, it's a weird mixture right now. A swim cover up and a cashmere sweater. I feel a little bit jerked around. So this is Geneva Cashmere, size extra large. I had not heard of Geneva, but Cashmere caught my eye. Red is supposed to be big this fall. And um, it's a cashmere turtleneck sweater. How can you go wrong? What did I pay? I don't know. Uh, it's kind of a red orange, but it's definitely red. I'm going to list it for 25 because it's a a name that no one's ever heard of, but 
It's cashmere. So back in April, when I was hunting for linen and couldn't find any, now all of a sudden there's floods of it. And the season for linen up here anyway is on the wane. But I'll keep buying it. I'm willing to hold it over till next summer. So this is a little linen dress in a very pretty sage green. And it is a brand that I've sold a couple times. Lungo Lerno. It's made in Italy. This is a medium. Very pretty sage green with kind of like a braid trim on the front. And then it has pockets. And it's probably knee length. Just a real pretty summer dress. Um, the top that I sold, I probably got 34. Um, and I have a dress listed that hasn't sold. So I'm going to list it for 32. And uh, take offers from there, of course. And here's another dress. I just have been, I was going to say I've been scoring in the dress department. And they are selling. But I'll sometimes ignore dresses for months at a time and never even look at them. And then I think, boy, there's some good stuff buried in there if you can just get past all the old navy and she in. So this is Lauren Ralph Lauren. It's a size 1X. It's a gray, dark gray, stretch jersey, double knit, like a ponte knit. Yeah, it's more like a ponte knit than a jersey. And it has pockets on the front, so it's a shirt dress, but it doesn't button all the way down. It's very dark gray. Let me hold it up to see if you can see the whole thing. There we go. But it's um, a shift dress more than a shirt dress. Very straight lines. Does it have pockets? Don't let me down, Ralph. Oh, no pockets. But a great um, ponte knit dress, a 1X. I think it would be very flattering. Body skimming, so to speak. Um, what should we ask for that? The MSRP was 145. I found it, and um, I'm going to ask 40. So this sweater is from Elsa Manda. The letters go down. It took me a while to figure it out. It's a big shawl collar and kind of a a blend of sage green and blue, and it's kind of a circular hem. It's crazy. Um, this video is going to be full of bloopers at the end. At home, uh, in, the, in the store, I could find very few comps. At home, I found listings for this sweater from $18 to $30 to $47 to $82. Sold comps are from $25 or $36 or $45. It doesn't photograph well. I'm going to have to put it on my dress form or ask one of my daughters. I'm going to ask $35. This was, um... Could have it probably sold at Anthropology, but I'm not positive. So that's a peculiar little deal. But it's so soft in the color. Look at the color. Anyway, and the last item from this store is this um, Callahan sweater. Here's the label, Callahan. Um, this is the old label in the script. The new one has block letters. I'll put a picture right there of the new Callahan label. And um, what can I tell you about that? It is blush pink, cotton blend, big boxy crop. So this is small, but look how big it is. And so it'd be very oversized. Look at the beautiful um, heavy cuff. The sleeve ends wide. So it would be, you know, kind of covering the top of your hand. And um, it's called Isla. It was sold at Revolve and Anthropology, described as a boyfriend fit, so I'll use that keyword. And the retail was $103. So I'm probably going to ask about $35. But other than the color, it's very on trend. So we'll see if somebody wants blush pink. And that's all I got at Salvation Army. Let me regroup and we'll do um, Goodwill. Okay. Hi, I'm back in a different location. Same day, same shirt, same strange hairdo. But I just need to get my vibe going, get this video done. The previous section is going to need a lot of editing. So shut up, get on with it. So 
Next, I went to a Goodwill store. I went to two Goodwills. Let's talk about what I found at Goodwill number one. I have notes. Oh, my Lord. See how messy my room is? What's that? Tri that tripod is from my last attempt. At I had to move. I'm just, I'm feeling all discombobulated. Hmm. Okay, Goodwill number one. Um, oh, this is interesting. So, for a grandma, I sell an awful lot of 90s streetwear. But I just keep finding it, and the value is usually pretty good. So this is a brand I've never seen before, Raw Blue. But, boy, if you see it, I recommend you look it up. This is a size 4XL, and it, hello, is a giant denim jacket of the style we used to call a barn coat yeah hello here i am um see all the top stitching and the crazy pockets and the striped lining oh uh, it weighs about three pounds oh raw blue 90s streetwear 4xl very dark is it i don't know is it denim black might be black or indigo denim i'm not sure i'll find out but let me tell you Ooh, um, there's, um, I paid $5.66. I'm so disorganized. It's going to sell for about $50. So if you ever see that, um, I could get up to 100 if it had some of the, some of it has like mm, crazy patchwork on it or mixed media, you know what I'm saying? Or painted on graphics. This is pretty plain. I mean, the style's unusual. And the size is unusual, so I'll get 50. So do you ever look for the, the uh, hip-hop streetwear from the 90s, the, all that denim? So Jenko jeans, pole, South Pole jeans, a bunch, a bunch of things. So next, this is a vintage Franklin Cubby binder, and I love to find them. I look every time I go to any thrift store, and I always try to manifest one. But this one is... um like a woven nylon with leather trim but on the upside it's a zipper but on the downside it's the compact size classic is just a little bigger and then there's a full desk size classic is the most popular size but this is the compact and um how do i know it's from the 90s there's almost always a date on something inside uh whether it is so this one has card slots and pen holders and right here is where it says Franklin Covey Franklin planner what does it say it says no that says <laughs> Riverwood um Propex with leather trim so Propex is what they call their fabric here's where it says Franklin Covey right down there so um the date I found on this little slip of paper that came with it. Sometimes you'll find um, planner pages. Sometimes you'll find a dress book. Sometimes you'll find nothing at all. Um, I found this little page marker. Well, how do you get with it? This little page marker, plastic thing, and it says 1996, I think. 1998. And people collect these things. The best I ever did was on a classic size that had a reptile leather binder cover um, sold on auction for $177. But most of them don't get that much. You can get uh, $25, $35, $50, 75 But if you see a Franklin Planner binder, I recommend you get it if it's cheap enough. Um, so I could just use Wonder Balsam on here, but I think I'm going to test a little spot and use polish, shoe polish first, and then uh, Wonder Balsam. See if I can get rid of some of those scuffs. So anyway, I paid uh, two dollars and fifty-one cents for it, and I'm gonna list it for forty. So, do you ever look for Franklin planners? Then I found a couple of belts. Love to sell belts. I sold one or two last uh, last month. So these are very similar belts, but they're two different kinds. This one is called Zep Pro. You can see it has. Is that a sailfish? Blue Marlin? I have no idea. I will Google Lens it. So it's a web belt with leather panel and then embroidered fish. That was Zeb Pro. This one, I always forget the name and it's so hard to read. Um, Reef Rider. 
I'll hold it up for you, but you probably won't be able to read it. I had to use my magnifier where it says right there, Reef Rider. Yeah, you can't read that. Also, web belt with a leather thing. And then this has a different kind of fish. That looks more trouty, walleye. I don't know what it is. But I'll Google Lens what kind of fish it is. And there are ones at 38, ones at 40. I'm going to, Zeb Pro will probably get a little more than the other one, but I'm going to list them both for $25. Huh? Fun. And then I found a Free People. This is called Feather in the Wind. I think you know what Free People, the little metal plate looks like. This is a sheer black mixed print um, button popover shirt with sequins and braid and beads and stuff on it. Um, there's quite a few for sale. And I don't like the way that smells. Um, paid $4.40 for it. I'm going to list it for $25. Um, they're selling, but there's, there's, there's probably of the, my size, which is what, a small? Always a small. Um, there's probably four or five for sale. There's an orange one, too. Orange, dark, dark brick, orangey color. Um, that are getting a little more money and selling faster, but that's okay. That'll work. And as I said in the earlier segment, I'm finding so much linen now that summer's nearly over. These are pure Jill indigo linen pants. They're cropped and elastic waist pull on with pockets. They're small, which, you know, an XL or a 1X would be super fabulous, but I paid $5 and I will probably list for $25. And of course, a crop is okay. Capris are a little less popular now. A crop just above the ankle is okay, but I think even old ladies like me aren't wearing capri very much anymore. Here's a Chico size 2 short, 2S, and this is... um. One of the newer labels, it says size 12 short. And these are a really pretty navy blue Ooh. linen pants, elastic waist with pockets front and back. Pretty wide leg. Linen pants. We love that. I'm going to list those for 32 and I paid $5. And the last item from this Goodwill store, I was kind of surprised by this, Carlisle Collection, which fetches a little bit higher prices than Carlisle, but it's a Glen Plaid. So how do you, how do you know it's Glen Plaid, Heidi? Well, Glen Plaid is a plaid, but then it's got herringbone in it. See that? See the little herringbone right there? So that's a Glen Plaid, and they're typically tone on tone, like shades of green or shades of blue. This one's shades of brown. And it's a V-neck back zipper top with this little bias section here that gives it some drape and some pleats. So that's cut on the bias, meaning the diagonal. And then the back has a little bias panel. It's a three-quarter sleeve. Is it long sleeve? No, not long. Three-quarter, but very pretty. Very soft, high quality, paid $4. I'm going to list it for $32. Now, do you ever get in ruts with your pricing? I find it, especially when I'm doing one of these. But sometimes I'm, I'll see it in my spreadsheet. I'll just see 28, 28, 28. Everything I'm listing somehow seems to be $28 or $32 or $40. I'll have like every other one. In this haul, a lot of things are going to be $32. Okay, next bag. Bear with. Next bag, the second store. So I was getting, I was paying 63% of the marked price. And this was marked at $7.99, so I paid $5.03. It's standard James Purse. And they do funny sizing. And I looked up what a three is, but I forget. Large? This is a blazer 
one button, but it's a very interesting texture. It's heavy weight, but not terribly. It feels like like a fleece, like a quarter, fleece quarter zip. So it's knit and um, has one button. It's just lovely. And of course it's great quality as James Purse would be. A black one button blazer. And I'm gonna list that for 35. <laughs> you thought I was gonna say 32. Nope, 35. This knit blazer is from Magashoni. And it feels more like jersey, but it's it's got enough weight to it so that it will hold its shape. It's also a one button blazer with pockets, little flaps on them, nice gray. What size is that? A medium. It's rayon, very soft and smooth with some stretch. And I'm going to um, list this one for 28. Oh, what the heck? Let's go 32. What do you think? Magashoni. Looks like it's got um, oh, no vents in the back or anything. This, I'm just finding Long Tall Sally coming out of the woodwork lately. I don't see it for a year and then I find two pieces in a week. Hmm. Looking for the label. Looking for the neckline. Ah, there we go. So, Long Tall Sally. This is going to be hard to show. It's a surplice neckline jumpsuit and then it has a little wrap chunk it's not a real wrap but it looks like a faux wrap and a tie at the side of the waist and it has pockets and it's a dark floral wide leg jumpsuit for a long tall lady what do you think huh. so this was in the dresses which strangely, so two years ago, I would say the Goodwill had dresses at the one of the higher priced categories, like with jeans. And then it went pants, skirts, tops. Sweaters were, you know, in the pants and skirts. Now they've got skirts like $3.99. Dresses are only $5.99. But they jacked the prices for all tops, short sleeve, long sleeve, and sweaters to $6.99. That's why I only shop on days when I have a coupon. But dresses are $5.99, which even normally, that's okay. But when I have a sale, a dress is $3.77. And they categorize this as a dress. So what am I going to list this jumpsuit for? $32. Good. Ding, ding, ding. You got the idea. So this, I was kind of disappointed in. When I picked it up, I thought, that's amazing. Um, it's soft surroundings, and I only get soft surroundings when I think, that's amazing. Because just plain looking things, no, they don't do well for me. This is a small, which I'd rather have bigger. But here's why I thought it was amazing. The fabric is a mesh, and the whole design is cross-stitch. I have no idea how they taught a machine to do that. But the fabric looks almost like 8 o'clock, which is what you do cross-stitch on which is little grid fabric kind of, not grid like a like needlepoint, but anyway, it's got very visible um, warp and weft threads. But look at this cross stitch, and it's a long cardigan. And I thought, somebody's gonna want that, so I just threw it in my cart without even comping it. And there's a whole bunch of them for sale. And because I wanna sell mine, I'm going to ask 30. Other people are asking 40 or more because they thought it was amazing. No. Nope. This was so fun to find. You probably rec Can you guess it from looking at it? It's a jersey knit, lightweight. It's got a border print. It's Eliza J. And most of their shift dresses. Oh, come on. There we go. Liza J. Most of their knee length shift dresses look a lot like this. They've got a geometric pattern and then some border print. This one's black and white with the pink and purple stripes. Isn't that great? Very easy to sell. I'm going to sell it for 32. Why? Starting to sing like Quimby now. 
You could do a lot worse than do things like Wimby. Isn't she adorable, the Grateful Queen? Um, if um, if any you as my viewers haven't checked out Quimby, the Grateful Queen, she's adorable. And she always puts great bloopers at the end of her video. She says she is a blooper, which, no, she's killing it. She is listing so hard. And she does great hauls and what sold videos. She kind of mixes her what sold in with the haul. And um, she's out in Northern California. But anyway, she just starts humming and singing, so I have to control myself. This might have been a mistake. Lena Gabrielle. It's a size 8. It's a very sweet linen jacket with a ruffled front. I mean, it's a beautiful turquoise color. With a look at the flutter sleeve, huh? The cuff. But nobody's ever heard of it. Nobody. No, but not even eBay, really. So I'm going to list it for 28, but I'll have to keyword the crap out of it. But look at that sweet cuff. Come on, people. The ruffle. I mean, I'm making that sound like I would wear it. I would never wear it. But still, here is an ancient piece of athleta. Have you ever seen that tag? And, of course, the style number pulled up nothing. But it's just a long sleeve tee with kind of a rib texture, and it's a little stretchy, and it's got that great graphic on the front. I mean, I'm going to list it for 20, and somebody will want it because it's Athleta. Here's a good Athleta piece. I think I've sold this three times before. And when I find it, I'm always like, ooh, is that one of those? <laughs> it's a big wrap cardigan from Athleta. Old tag, but it does not matter because they still make this model. This is the Pranayama Wrap. Pranayama Restore. So after you do your yoga practice, wrap up in this lovely long cardigan and get all cozy again and feeling good. The Pranayama cost me $4.40. I'm going to list it for $35. And it won't matter that it's old because it's in beautiful condition, and they still sell it on their website. So that's great. What is this? Oh, this I thought was worth a try. It's just great quality. It's beautiful. Carlisle, but an older label, and it is a silk sweater. Sorry, you're getting... What is going on with my light? It's a silk sweater with some seaming on it. You see that serge seams? Let me try and adjust things here. There, that's better. So it's a black silk sweater with some serged seams, which just give it a really nice fit. And it's a, um, a, a mock neck. It's a pretty high mock neck. And I think it's just beautiful and so soft. It feels like cashmere. I'm going to list it for 30 I paid $4 for that. More linen. I think this is probably linen blend because it is Eileen Fisher. A size large, pop over top. Let's see what it's made of. It's kind of a magenta v-neck and um, three-quarter sleeves. Slits at the bottom, so we'll call it a tunic. Viscose linen and nylon. So we'll call it a tunic top because of those slits. Gives you a little hip room, right? This was a mistake, and I didn't mean to buy it because I comped it, and it wasn't good. Comp soft surroundings. It's a big jersey tie-dye tunic top with an asymmetrical shark bite hem. It just, no. It didn't comp well at all, but I brought it home with me for $4, so I have to make it into something. Here is an, an, a no-name brand, but it's got everything else going for it, right? So every item you buy, you consider the brand and the style slash category. What is it? What style is it? The condition, the comps, and I think about size. There's one more. My friend Lori has five. Comps, condition. Well, the cost, 
So I paid four dollars for this. It's a hundred percent Irish linen and it's a 2x. So those are all good things. The name is Richard Malcolm Woman, which I've not heard of, but it's a 2x linen um, shirt with this great embroidery on it. So isn't that beautiful? I think that um, with the right description, even though it's Richard Malcolm, somebody will find that. It's a dark olive green, nice big three-quarter sleeve, very comfy. And I think this is the last piece of linen in the bag. There's only a few pieces left. Thank you for hanging on. This is Maeve. And it is the sweetest brick red or orange linen dress. A couple of buttons, a couple of pockets. Isn't that sweet? That would look darling on my daughters, but a size six. I know neither one of them wants an orange linen dress. One of them would say, mm, no, not a dress. And the other one would say, mm, not orange. Cute, though. Somebody's going to want that. Maeve, of course, has sold at Anthropology. Okay, what, two things left? <gasps> yeah, and I'm saving a good one for the end. Good thing I talked about Quinby, because she's the one who told me about that brand. So this, also I don't like the way it smells. So we'll deal with that in the laundry or the dry cleaning bag. So I use Dryel or any brand like that of those um, dry cleaning cloths that you put in a bag which puffs up and kind of generates steam inside and you run your dry clean items for like 20 or 30 minutes. It refreshes the smell. It really does kind of take off the Sometimes dry clean only things, they just feel a little sticky or a little dirty, but there's no spots on them. This really removes that, and they feel nice when they're done. And there is a stain pen that comes with it, so you can treat them with dry cleaning fluid, I guess. But the last three times I have needed product, I found it at the thrift store. So I just recently found another kit with a bag and four claws for $3 instead of $15 on Amazon. So... Look for Dryel or other things like that at the thrift store. This is Prana, and it's a cowl neck sweater dress, maxi length. What? Never saw such a thing. And it's got pockets, so maybe this is a midi, because those pockets, if this was a maxi, those pockets would be on your knees. <laughs> so maybe, let me me let me measure it. Oh boy, that made me a little giddy. I think I had too much iced coffee. Okay, it's midi. It's 44 inches. So I usually say around 34-ish is knee length. Of course, it depends on where your knees are in relation to the ground. If you're a, if you're a height-challenged person, whether that's too tall or too short, I don't know what height-challenged means. So if you're a Let's just say short. If you're a short person, your knee length is going to be different than someone who's a long, tall Sally. But in general, 30, mid-30s is knee length. And um, more than 40 is midi. And then when you get down to 48, 50, for most people, that's ankle or maxi length. But I just kind of keep those numbers in my head so I don't have to stand up and hold it under my chin and then hold it at the waist and then quick bend over and look at my feet to see where the skirt ends. Do you ever do that? Hold it up and say, hmm, on me, I think it's a midi. Yeah, just measure the thing. Measure the thing. So anyway, my friend Quinby has been mentioning this brand and I had never seen it other than when she shows it to me, packed. And she just loves finding it. She gets excited like it's some CP shades or something. But um, I have checked out their website, and they're, they're a sustainable clothing brand. What's this made out of? They usually use, like, recycled things or natural things. This is both. 74% organic cotton, 21% recycled polyester, and 5% elastane. Packed Earth's favorite clothing. So, this is packed. And this item is a cute leopard dress in a baby doll style. 
and it has pockets because it's a dress and it needs pockets. Isn't that cute? It's, it's shaped like a mini, but it might be just above the knee. Not a mini, but not knee length either. But this dress is called, it has a name, Revive is the name of the dress. And it's a leopard print, $377. I paid for it. And I'm going to list up for $40. This little cotton dress, I'm going to list for $40. So would love to hear if you found Packed and what your experience with selling it has been. And I'm going to shout out my friend Quenby. Thank you for telling me about Packed. Now I expect to see it all the time. Oh, which might mean it's subject to the Heidi rule. When Heidi finds out a new brand and she looks and looks for it, because it's so, it sells so great. Once she starts finding it, it's pretty much the end of the line for that brand. So it happened to me with Anthropology four years ago. It happened to me with Free People. The, all the jeans that used to be great, Heidi can find them now, so they're not great. So you've been warned. If Pact is fabulous for you, you might want to be cautious. Leave it all for me. Oh boy, that was exhausting. I have a lot of editing to do now, I'm sure, because wow, wow, what a hard day to make a video. So I'm going to say goodbye. I'm going to say I had a great time and I'm glad you're keen. Tell your friends, please hit the thumbs up button. If you enjoyed it even marginally, just be generous. What does the thumbs up cost you? Does YouTube like keep track of, hey, you've been giving, oh, I know what YouTube does. If you give my video a thumbs up, it will show you more stuff like this. That sounds like a good deal. Just go ahead and do it. And uh, tell your friends. I'm over 800 subscribers, and I'm in the pursuit of the elusive 1,000 because I'm achievement-oriented. Not really. I am so lazy. It's time to say goodbye. I had a great time. Please come back. Bye, kids. Uh,